it was heartbreaking. You know, that's what I've been working my whole life towards. Um, packed stands, sold out crowd, you know. Everybody's cheering like crazy. And I can't even jump off the ground. Smile at the camera. Like dribble and then turn around and smile so it looks nice. When I moved to Missouri, um, my dad works at the arena, so I'm in the gym every day getting used to the facility. So I saw when, they, when the arena was packed, you know, the first couple years they had Kim English, Marcus Demi, and Lawrence. I, had, I went to the games and I had to sit at the highest section. Mizzou was my first offer, and then I'm slowly becoming like, dang, I could actually play on that floor that I was watching a few years ago. And then I committed to Washington, but in the back of my head, I was like, dang, I kind of wish I could have revived Mizzou. And I wish it was a Cinderella story where I come back and we, and we win, and then we we, we hit a far in the tournament, you know. And but, but you know, that's not what happened. Michael Porter Jr., the nation's number one recruit, has decommitted from Washington and is headed to Mizzou, where he will join his dad, the Tigers' newest assistant coach. What does this do to affect the landscape of Mizzou basketball? It impacts the entire SEC. I lived in Columbia for a long time, so the vibe within that like second that I committed, it was like the whole city changed. It was crazy. The season tickets are sold out. People are crazy excited. The attendance in Mizzou is going up. Like people are deciding to go to Mizzou for school because the basketball team is going to be. It was crazy. We're we're ready to turn college basketball upside down. And three days before the first game, uh, my hip starts hurt. like like my, my 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 leg starts hurting my hip, and then it was going down my leg. And I'm like, okay, like what's going on? Let me try to get some extra rest tonight. See if I feel better tomorrow. And I sleep, and I wake up, and it feels worse. It was scary, like, it was so scary. So then I, I know, I know I'm not 100%, but then the, the game day comes. I remember going over to my dad and just being like, Dad, like, like you know I, I'll play through any type of pain I paid through, but broken, I can't play. I won't help the team playing like this. He was like, all right, go tell coach. I got on the phone that night, got an MRI. I had to get surgery. Michael Porter Jr., their number one overall recruit, done for the season. And it's not meant to be for the Missouri Tigers. People are like, oh, he's just, he's just soft, he's just this, he's just that. Um, you know, he, he, didn't, he really didn't care about Mizzou. He just wants to come here and sit down and then go to the NBA. Uh, and I'm sitting there like, like, this is crazy. Like, I really was getting ready to put my heart and soul into this university and try to help change it. The same fans that was, you know, all excited about me now that I'm hurt, they're not with me anymore. It was heartbreaking, you know, that's, that's my home. But you know, the world's a messed up place and people care about the wrong things. Michael Porter Jr. went viral for the wrong story this week. What he did this weekend cannot be topped. Porter Jr. met with pediatric cancer patient Lizzie Wampler. In his Instagram post, he said, this little girl is one of the most amazing people I've ever met. She only has hours left in this world, but she's excited because she knows she gets to spend eternity in heaven with God. You see what's important, like she wasn't talking about anything except hoping her friends made it to heaven. And you know, when you talk about that, basketball doesn't matter, money doesn't matter, fame doesn't matter, it's just, you know, the important things that matter, and that's relationship with God. My outlook on this life is try to help people in any way I can realize what's real. And I'm still figuring out what's real, but like those moments with Lizzie, like, after that moment, during that moment, I didn't care about basketball, I didn't care about, you know, money, I didn't care about any of that. I just cared about being there with that little girl. You know, we had three players that had uh, just got hurt and couldn't play. So we had six players on scholarship at the time, heading into the tournament, and I was just like, man, I gotta try to do this for my team. I go to the doctor. Mike, like, you don't have any explosiveness yet. You don't have any power yet. You know, you, you haven't been in the gym at all. Don't play. But he said it wouldn't, it would, I wouldn't re-injure it. So I'm taking that as like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna give this a go, you know. 
I at least want to play one game before I leave. Everybody in Columbia, Missouri has been waiting for it. It's a healthy Michael Porter. It's also, watch for John Tay, Michael's brother, who's also on this team. And Michael Sr. telling me to get those two on the court will be a beautiful moment for this family, something John Tay has prayed for every single day since Michael got injured. I think it happened just the way it was supposed to happen. I wouldn't change getting hurt. I, I think, you know, I wasn't the person I needed to be when I first walked on campus. I wasn't the person I needed to be to handle everything that's about to happen now. I wanted to go back to Mizzou for another year to play. The reason that I declared for the draft and that because question is my big goal is to be on the biggest stage I can, get as good as I can, influence as many people as I can. Um, I think God got a big plan for me, and I think that's why he gave me those moments with Lizzie. And people ask me now, they're like, Mike, like, are you still happy that you, that you, that you made that decision? Now that y'all lost, you kind of wish you would have just. And I'm like, nah, because people got to see the real me. People got to see that I don't play this game just for my own benefit. I play it to inspire others, and you know, not be selfish with the gifts God's given me. With the 14th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Denver Nuggets select Michael Porter Jr. from the University of Missouri. Blessed is the one who preserves under trial. Because having stood that test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him.